Cool. So this is Mike Chambers. I'm here with uh, Deej Cooley from the, uh, I guess the Adobe Media Player team, formerly Philo. Deej, how's it going? Good. It's going really good. Cool. So uh, why don't you introduce yourself, or like in more in depth than I just introduced you? Uh, what do you do here on the uh, Philo team? Sure. Uh, I'm Deej Cooley. I'm a product manager for Adobe Media Player. It's codenamed Philo, and it's a, a nice uh, name, so I'll use it for the rest of this <laughs> video. Philo team has been around for almost two years now, looking at the trends in RSS and uh, video on the web, as well as trends in, in TV. And so we started working on this client about nine months ago uh, to make video and media player. Okay, and uh, you guys actually premiered this at uh, NAB a couple weeks ago? Uh, just last week, yeah. And how was the reaction? It's been phenomenal. We had a, a lot of content creators excited about the branding and advertising opportunities mm -hmm. that we're providing. Um, and we've got a lot of uh, advertisers interested in some of the unique capabilities that we're speaking to. Cool. So uh, you have a demo for us? You can show sure us? Do. And this is this actual running code? This is a running Apollo application Adobe Media Player. So here uh, I've launched it. I'm going to uh, just kind of resize. And actually, I'm going to make it uh, full screen so we get a nice big. Oh, screen. sweet. So it supports full screen. I guess obviously it's a video uh, player. Sure. I'm going to come back to this home screen in a minute. But where I want to start is what I call my shows. Uh, Philo started life looking at RSS and video RSS aggregation. And so here what we have is a number of internet TV shows uh, in the aggregator window. When I click on a TV show, we'll see that the Adobe Media Player or Philo begins to bring that content forward. And the first thing you'll notice is that it has a lot of branding associated with that content. As I continue to drill into that content. So, wait, actually, how do you, uh, that branding, how's that defined? Is that built into Philo? No, actually, the branding is being carried with the RSS feed itself. Here I can actually show you um, a feed. Um, actually, it's in this window. Oops. Let's bring up. So, uh, this is a Blip TV? This is a Blip TV, one of our content partners that's been helping us with the launch of Philo. Uh, and all of their shows have RSS feeds in them. So when I click on this button, we're actually going to browse to the, the XML file for this RSS feed. Okay, so that's just an RSS2 feed. Yep, and here's the source, and here's kind of typical RSS uh, uh, tags in here. And we've added, or actually Blip has added a number of Philo-specific brand uh, tags that identify the branding assets. Okay, so let me just get in on this. So that's just some extensions and it's just defining like the background just pointing to a JPEG there so it's pretty straightforward. Pretty straightforward. Yeah, we actually use this for a video on Flex as we added it took about an hour to uh, add the elements. It's really easy. That's great. Actually I have your channel right here. Yeah, it's the best channel to, on there I think. You can start to see some of the, the, the badges that, the, that they've put in. You see that it's also got some nice thumbnails so you can see each episode. We've got support for things like full screen playback right. as well. Yeah, you can tell uh, it doesn't look as nice as the other ones because you can tell I did the design. So, <laughs> well, we keep keep working on that. <laughs> What's great about Philo is because it's an RSS aggregator, it actually continues to check for new branding assets. As well oh, as so you could actually update the branding? Yep. Ah, oh, that's really cool. So you imagine Christmas, you have a Christmas brand. That's right. So not only do we have uh, support for branding, we also have support for advertising. Mm -hmm. If you're a content creator you want to make sure that you're paying the bills and so here we're showing some basic support for banner ads mm -hmm. around the video right. I want to jump into uh, another feed actually come back to Pimp My Ride because one of the more exciting kinds of advertising you can offer to your customers is what we call a bugs here is a video on video oh bug. yeah yeah so is that in is that encoded in the video feed no actually this is a separate bit of asset that's coming uh, being pulled down by Philo and in mm -hmm. real time being placed on top of the video. Right. So let me just make sure I'm clear. So uh, this is Pimp My Ride. So the Pimp My Ride producers or whatever, they're putting the advertising in, generating this advertising. That's right. right. We are only enabling publishers to use branding and advertising if they want. Right. Um, but we're not actually doing any of the advertising ourselves. Okay, so like I have the video on Flex feed, they're not going to be ads running on my feeds. Correct. Okay. Or my videos. Okay, cool. Correct. So it basically enables content producers to add, uh, to do ads. To do I kind of like it because they're actually pretty unobtrusive. If you think about television, you know, it's like, it's very abrupt. You stop your show, you go to an ad, and I like the ability at least to, you know, kind of do these more unobtrusive. Yeah. And of course, you know, the holy grail for, for interactive TV for the last 15 years has been uh, interactive uh, advertising. So here we've got a video with a, with a swift bug mm -hmm. being played. If I click on this, it actually brings up an interactive window, pauses the video. I might be able to, you know, look at different colors of this jacket or buy it. 
and then be able to resume the video mm -hmm. um, and, and continue watching my content. Yeah, you guys, uh, is that you're going to add a chat or something like that? I think sure. that'd be pretty cool. What's great about our common UI is that we can add, add additional functionality like chat or tagging uh, or, or other kinds of social interfaces right mm -hmm. into this uh, experience. Uh, so we'll, we have those on our roadmap. Also want to point out that we have a lot of kind of premium content planned for, for Philo. We also have a lot of support uh, in the long tail community, so companies like Blip TV that allow you know, long tail content creators to create shows can now have a nice integrated branded experience within Philo. They can also do advertising to pay the bills. Uh, we also have um, another company called Reality Digital that's uh, enabling uh, their customers to get branded TV shows. So LonelyPlanet.tv mm -hmm. launched a few weeks ago. And now you can have a, a branded Lonely Planet TV experience right here in Philo. So all this this content is, all the content you're showing me now, this is all coming in from RSS feeds, right? That's right. Now if I have just an FLV, uh, can I play that in Philo? That's right. So actually back here in our library section, uh, we oh, allow okay. you to, to uh, Philo will uh, support the FLV uh, file type, so when you double click an FLV, it'll actually be pulled into this library. And here I've got a bunch of uh, uh, videos of my family. Mm -hmm. And so all of the same kind That's of That's Chrissy Field? It is, actually, <laughs> yeah. And so all the same kind of social experiences that you can have. Oh, with, wait, wait, wait. With TV What's shows, the comment? Um, you can actually put comments and tags and ratings for your personal videos. These won't actually be shared with anybody. But Philo will ultimately have smart lists where you can mm -hmm. filter on tags okay, yeah. or comments across your library as well as your, your aggregator. Now, what if, um, let's say I was uh, something like Blip TV um, and I wanted those comments to go back to the website or something so people could see the comments. Is That's that right. possible? Is that something we're thinking about? Exactly. Um, we want to uh, enable uh, social engagements on a per show basis. So we'll actually be working with publishers such that if I'm adding a rating to this show, that data is actually being synchronized back with Blip TV's back-end system mm -hmm. so that the community around each show uh, kind of goes wherever the show goes. Oh, yeah. And finally, I want to kind of point out one other, uh, um, a couple other content partners that have, that have been helping us uh, early on. Uh, one is a company called Motionbox. They're focused on personal publishing. So here I've got a bunch of vi uh, videos from my friend uh, uh, Jen who, who recently did a ski trip. And so instead of me having to go manually visit <laughs> Uh, her site to see if anything's new. I can just subscribe to her videos and they'll show up right here. Uh, we've also got uh, Akamai who's showing some of the streaming capabilities right into uh, Philo. So here's a stream of, of NBA highlights coming into Philo. So, so this is a real-time stream. Right. You're not, this isn't on the file system. That's right. So as you can see, you know, Philo is really supporting the wide range of, of video content, uh, premium content, uh, uh, large publishing solutions like Akamai, uh, long tail publishers mm -hmm. and content like Blip and Reality Digital and, and Goodnight Burbank and, and the like. Right. Can and you uh, can you show us what it's like? Like, Can you add a feed? Sure. Let's switch to this website. Here is uh, so Zay Frank, Zay Frank on, on Blip TV. We'll come down to the subscribe tab. And you can see there's a number of badges for other kinds of video right. aggregators. Uh, Philo will ultimately have a badge just like this, mm -hmm. one click easy to subscribe. For right now, I'm just going to click this simple RSS yeah, the badge. RSS feed. And I'll say uh, copy link location. And I'll come back into Philo and I'll click add show and I'll click paste. And now we'll see that the show starts to come in. It's okay. parsing the RSS feed, it's oh, yeah, in the branding. A branding. And now you'll see that it's starting to download let's these see, Let's episodes. see if I can get that. Oh, yeah. So it's actually downloading the FLVs to the file system. So, right. so once it's done that, I can watch it any time, whether my, I have a I good access or not. So here, actually, we've got a, a video in place. Let's see. Yeah. There you go. And now we see the show is playing. Cool. And uh, so when, uh, when are we going to see Philo? Well, like, when are we going to be able to play around with it? Uh, we're looking to do a, a pre-release for Philo for end users this summer. Right. And Is that with the Apollo beta? Uh, or around the Apollo beta? That's right. Yeah. We're looking to uh, coordinate around that. And then a final release with uh, around the Apollo 1.0 release in the fall. Right. And do we, like, is this something we're going to sell? Is it going to be free? Right. It's free for end users. So mm -hmm. anybody can, can grab uh, Adobe Media Player off of the Adobe site start to aggregate their favorite uh, video podcasts and, and TV shows. 
and uh, we'll be offering tools and services for publishers to okay. support advertising, tracking, content protection, things like that. Cool. Well, uh, thanks for taking the time to show it to us. Thank you. Okay.